third one, um, I thought I would take a few minutes and do a video. And um, my intention was to do a video on, um, let's just say, orgasmic magic. And I've been giving it a lot of thought lately. And then I talked with my best friend in the world last night and um my friend brought the topic up before I even mentioned you know my thoughts about it so I do believe it's something that is in need of discussing but um I also believe that um the goddess pushes us in the direction she wants us to go sometimes so I got up this morning still thinking of my topic and um, I got to work and then I found a place I could stop and um, do a quick video and right as I was getting ready to do the video something came to me and um, it wasn't what I was planning on talking about it was a uh, more or less uh, wanting to discuss, you know, the magic within you and um, things you can do, magically do, you know, you don't always have to do a spell, you don't, and I, I've said this before, but you don't have to always do a spell, you don't have to go out and buy expensive tools or ingredients or even have a lot of ingredients and things to work with on hand, you can use what you have, and if you have nothing, you don't need anything, you know, it's all intention, and again, for some reason, the goddess has put it on my heart to discuss this, so I'm going to just do a quick video on this, because like I said, I know I've talked on this in the past, and um, I thought it would be appropriate, I don't know if you can see it, but I have just a small white candle and in the bottom there with the candle is dried dandelion and um, you know that's for your, to enhance your, your psychic uh, gifts and to see clearly and you know among other things but I just was drawn to use the dandelion and the white candle and um, also, uh, I've been carrying around my Labradorite stone all week, so I felt I needed to bring her as well. So, I'm going to light this candle and enlighten this candle. I'm just setting an intention that, you know, anyone that may come across this video will resonate with it and they will see what I'm trying to say and that, you know, they'll get something out of it. And, you know, as always, I just wish everyone happiness. And, you know, I wish everyone the ability to have self-love. And, you know, you just, you believe in your intentions and you set your intentions and you believe and you'll receive. And moving on, light the candle. So now... Our intention is set and um, I just wanted to go over a few quick things you know that really are inexpensive if not free to do and you know it's just it's it's manifesting your intention and like I said the goddess just put it on my heart to speak on it again really quickly but um I just I'm gonna start with um what am I favorite and things I do always is grounding, you know, and that's so simple and, you know, cost nothing, you know, to walk outside and just kick your shoes off. And if you don't go in the woods, that's fine. You know, walk around in your backyard and, you know, just walk around barefooted. Um, if it starts raining and you're able to, Walk out in the rain, you know, walk around while it's raining, in the rain, and visualize that rain cleansing you and washing away any and all negativity. Um, 
You can just sit down on the ground, sit by a tree, touch the tree. You know, if you want to talk to the tree, you know, nature, you know, that's nature is of the goddess and she is in everything and she is always listening. So talk to the tree. The wind starts to blow and you feel that breeze, you know, just let it, you know, blow on you, blow through your hair, you know, visualize it blowing away any negativity, you know, blowing away all this junk that you don't need that's not serving you. Just let it blow away. And, um, you know, I do this and, you know, I know life gets in the way and we get busy, but cleansing, you know, just take you a, a deep cleansing shower or a bath at least once a week, you know. I know you wash daily, but, you know, when you do your cleansing ritual, you know, put some effort in it. You know, think about what, you know, everything visualize, you know, you're washing away. If you want to add some salt or some herbs or some oils or I even include my stones. I just, I love my stones. And, you know, and like I said, it could just be you in a tub of water, you under the shower, letting the water just run over you and wash away all that negativity and, um, you know, always speaking, writing on your intentions help. Um, you always do it as in the present tense or as if it's already happened, it's currently in effect. You know, you say, don't say, you know, I'm broke. I wish I could come into some money. You know, you say, you know, I am no longer struggling. I am financially stable. I mean, you make it positive. You say it as if it's already happened. It's uh, it's happening, you know. No negativity. Let no negativity come through. And I know that's easier said than done. And I myself struggle on a daily basis, but, you know, we just got to keep trying. And um, also, you know, you've got to remind yourself, just like the struggling with the negativity every day you just got to remind yourself that you can do these things that you desire and that you are worthy and you know your your love you should love yourself and i know that's another hard one because i struggle you know and i've got a really great friend and like my friend you know tells me always you know look in the mirror tell yourself you love yourself you know, tell yourself what is great about you, and you just keep doing that. You keep repeating to yourself, and, you know, you believe in yourself. You're just letting the doubt creep in, and again, you know, I just have a really great friend that, you know, cares and looks out for me, and I'm I'm truly blessed there, but, um, you know, the magic is within you. And the goddess is in everything. She's always with us, and she's always listening. So, um, oh, and here's another one I'm going to throw in really quick. You know, your clothes, uh, your jewelry, you know, the color of your clothes, the color of things in your home, in your car, your surroundings, you know, for instance, red, you know, love, yellow, happiness, green, money, you know, that's just, you can always incorporate magic in your day-to-day -day life without doing a spell or going out and buying, you know, expensive things, you know, or like I keep saying, it is within you, and apparently that's what the goddess wants me to tell you again, so please listen and please believe it is within you, and maybe it's me that needs to listen to what she is saying as well, but it was put on my heart, so that's what we're going with today. Um, the placement of your jewelry, you know, like you can wear a ring on your thumb, and that is willpower. A ring on your index finger, you know, that's leadership. Your middle finger, individuality. Your ring finger, love, of course. And your pinky, that signifies bonding. And, you know, this isn't the set, you know, it, it can mean other things, and it may mean something totally different to you, but if if it does mean something different to you, you go with that, you know, you go with that. And I'm going to wrap it up because, like I said, I know I've covered most of this 
prior to this video, but it was just put upon my heart by the goddess to do this today. So I guess my next video will be on that orgasmic magic and I hope you are ready for it and I'll see you all later. Bye.